Hey guys, how's it going? It's Patty with Life with Patty, and I'm here in my kitchen again doing some more cookies for the fair. So I'm not in an apron today, you guys, and I got shorts on. I hope you guys don't see my legs, but you might. Oh my god. But let me tell you what, it's 100 degrees here today, and our air conditioning at work was not working right. So it was 79 in the building all day. And um, so we were hot inside. And so I decided I'm not putting the apron on today. And I'm refilling up my cup with some ice and crystal light here. But anyways, so this is not a formal video today. We're not doing like a specific recipe. I'm just getting ready for the fair. And I thought you guys might want to join me. So I might be back and forth, back and forth in the kitchen. We'll see how this works after I'm done with the video. I'll proof watch it, you know, and see how it goes. And uh, I may or may not post this. I don't know. But um, Coffee with Kate does this a lot, but she goes for like an hour. And I'm not going for an hour. But anyways, so I uh, got myself some Crystal Light. Kiwi strawberry. I love this flavor. So I'm going to go put this back in the freezer and the refrigerator and I'll be back. So that's what I mean. We're going to be back and forth, back and forth. But you know, I figured you can't come to my home. I'll bring my home to you. So, <laughs> so anyways, I, um, I entered seven things in the fair. No, I'm sorry. I entered nine things in the fair. I made five last night, yesterday, all day. I made my zucchini bread and I made my banana nut bread and what else did I do? Pumpkin muffins, applesauce cake, and pineapple upside down cake. Buster, you want to go into daddy? Hold on, let me let the dog come on. I have the kitchen door closed so that it's not so um, noisy from the TV or whatever. Although I don't think he has the TV on right now. But anyways, so I made those five things yesterday. I really wanted to stay home from work today and do everything today. But um, I've taken too much time off. So I decided I was just going to make those five things yesterday. Because I wanted to do it today because it gets judged tomorrow. And that way it would be nice and fresh. But, oh well, we'll just see what happens. You know, if I don't win, I don't win. It's okay. I'm just like doing it for fun. But, um, so I'm making my chocolate crinkle cookies right now. I already preheated my oven. Well, it's preheating right now. Let's see. But, um, so I just thought, well, you know what? I'm doing this. Why not have you guys just come along with me? thought that would be fun. So anyways, work was hot and um, now I'm home and I still have to water my garden. I still have to feed my hummingbirds. I got a lot of stuff to do, but I want to get this cooking started and then I can, like once I get some of this in the oven, then I can just do other things as it's cooking, you know? So anyways, if you guys are watching me do these crinkle cookies and you're like, oh my gosh, those look so great. What's the recipe? Go to my playlist, and I have different files in my playlist, and under baking, um, it will say let's bake chocolate crinkle cookies, and the recipe for this is in there, and I did a video on it, so you can watch that video and do, uh, and see the recipe there. So these are like the best cookies ever, and the girls at work were already like, so are you going to bring the leftovers to work? <laughs> like, sure. And I also have snickerdoodle um, cookie dough in the refrigerator that I have to do. And then I have peanut butter cookies to do, but those don't take very long, so I'll do those. This cookie scooper is not working, can you tell folks? It's going in the sink, I'm gonna use a good old fashioned spoon. <laughs> so anyways, um, I have peanut butter cookies yet to make. And then I also have entered um, 
uh, banana split cupcakes, which I've done that on a video also, which is in my baking playlist. But that one entails a little bit more, and I just don't know that I'm going to have the energy to do it all. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, I don't know if those will go in the fair. And if they don't, I'm not going to stress over it. It was only a $2 entry fee, and um, so if they don't get done, they don't get done. I am not going to stress over it. So, this is supposed to be fun, so I don't want to make it, you know, stressful. So, anyway, so um, the lady of Huntington. Is that, am I saying it right, Huntington, Australia? She um, has a channel. You will probably see her comments, in, or you'll see a comment from her in my comments. She comments on all my stuff. We've become good friends. And um, so her channel is called The Lady of Huntington. And she asked me today if I would like to um, do a recipe swap with her. So, one month I sent her stuff from the United States uh, to bake her to cook or a recipe and then the next month she sends me the stuff and I bake something from Australia. Now how fun does that freaking sound, huh? <laughs> so I'm all for it, but I'm going to have to ask her some things because I don't know, like, you know, I was thinking like rice -roni. I love rice -roni. and I, that's a San Francisco treat right there, you know. And I live in California, and I live, you know, close to San Francisco. And rice aroni was originally made from a company in San Francisco. And so I thought it would be fun to send her a box of that to try out if she hasn't, um, if they don't have that. But they might have it. If they have it, then no, we want to do stuff that we don't have in each other's um, country so that we can try it out. So I just thought that would be really fun, and she's the one who suggested it. So. Um, as she said when she was talking about my channel, pop on over to her channel and watch it. So I'm telling you, pop on over to her channel because I love her channel and she um, raises, oh man, some kind of cat. Kind of looks like a leopard cat. Um, they're so beautiful. She has videos of them. I just like visiting with her because I've never been to Australia. And you know, the one thing I found that's really cool about YouTube, like my cousin said the other day, you can go anywhere on YouTube. You can just be at home and you can go anywhere. So you guys have gone to Calusa now and I've gone with Stella to New York all over. So Stella, fly with Stella, she lives in New York. She takes you everywhere. She takes you to restaurants, she takes you to stores, she takes you to Coliseum, she takes you everywhere. It's really cool. So, my timer went up. I'm going to go put my cookies in the oven. I'll be right back. So, that was my first batch in. Set the timer for 12 minutes. I'm going to see something here. Because I don't want to go over 15. I don't think I want to go over 15 minutes with a chat with you guys. You know, because, um, I don't know. Sometimes, like, like, there's some channels that I watch that like I just found this new channel her name is her channel's name is Lisa's Paradise pop on over to her channel too she cracks me up her and her husband all they did was they were eating Dairy Queen in the car for 30 minutes <laughs> and just talking and I freaking found them hilarious the two of them talking just in the car <laughs> it's like and before I knew it her 30 minutes was up <laughs> but I had fun watching her so um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm talking and walking at the same time here. So anyways, um, but sometimes people's videos go on for like an hour. Well, frankly, my Wi-Fi out here in the middle of nowhere, that would take me all day to download a video for an hour. I'd have to go to the library and use their Wi-Fi because... My Wi-Fi is not that good. We have a really poor service out here. Sometimes um, people will call me and I can't even, my phone reception is not good out here. And we had a, a landline and then got rid of it because thinking, you know, oh, cells are the new thing and you don't, I, we should have kept the landline just for safety reasons. So grandma next door, she has a landline. So, I mean, it 
works most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. But I don't know. It's part of living out in the country, I guess. Living out in the middle of nowhere. So. <clears throat> I um, turn my stuff in tomorrow, and they judge tomorrow, but the fair doesn't open till Thursday, so I won't find out how I did till Thursday. It's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> so, anyways, and you know, like I said, and I've said several times now, if I don't place or I don't place well, that's okay. It's my first time, and I don't even know if I'm presenting it properly. They told you how you can take like a quarter of the cake and an extra slice. You have to put it in a, on a white paper plate and then you have to cover it with um, saran wrap or a Ziploc bag. And like I made my um, pineapple upside down cake and um, I put it in the bag last night and it kind of sweated. And then, so I took it out this morning then my applesauce cake, I did like a powdered sugar on the top, and the, the powdered sugar was soaking into the cake, so I had to do it again. That's why I think it's better if I was to be like home and just bake the day before the fair, so that um, everything's super fresh. But there's people turning them in today, and they're going to be in that hot building at the fair all night, so rock on, baby, turn it in. <laughs> so. I'm um, hoping that I'm hoping that it'll be okay. I took some of the extra pineapple upside down cake to work today, and uh, my coworker Esmeralda, she's like, "Oh my gosh, Patty, this stuff is the bomb! It's so good." So hopefully it'll be, still be that way tomorrow. So I wash my hands a million times when I do these cookies because you get the dough on you, and you have to roll it in the powdered sugar, and so you have to keep washing your hands. So anyways, you guys, I just thought I would let you sit and visit with me for a little bit. And uh, I will keep you posted on the fair and how I do. And I'll take you to the fair one night. I'll probably do a video at the fair going through the booths where they have everything. And um, get my corn dogs, you know. Got to get my corn dogs. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a good evening. I'll talk to you later, okay?